Call Them Witches, and you're watching Metal Next. Thanks for uh, taking the time to speak with Metal Nexus today. So uh, if we could, we'll just kind of start off, have you guys just kind of introduce yourself from left to right and uh, we'll get going here. Hello, my name is Robbie. <laughs> I'm Parks. My name is Ben. All right, and uh, how, how the guys, uh, how'd the show go for you guys today? I had a great time. Yeah. I, I don't know, it was a good crowd. The weather was nice. Everything went well. Yeah, it was cool. Probably the last warm show for a while, so I'll be right now. Yeah, it was pretty hot out there when you guys went. Now it's just a lot of wind, but uh, I can't hot. breathe. There's too much dust out there. I yeah. seriously can't breathe. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of people with the with the dust masks on now. I yep. saw that. Yeah, that's pretty popular right now. I got yeah. them on too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you guys have toured this year with some pretty big names like uh, Primus and Mastodon. Uh, so how was it going out on tour with those guys? Um, we had a good time. We only did half of their tour because we had uh, some prior tours set up in Europe already. Um, but yeah, we were with them for a couple of weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah, four yeah. weeks. And um, it was cool. It was great, man. Yeah. It was, you know, it was, it was really cool experience. to get yeah. to meet those guys. Cool. Um, and and you got anybody you guys are excited to see uh, today here at Aftershock? Alice in Chains. Yeah. yeah, Alice in Chains. Blake Bender was sweet. It was cool to see Sloth Russ too. Yeah. So we've known them, or kind of known them in a weird way for a while, but yeah, they're a great okay. band. Cool. Uh, and you guys also played Down Download Festival this year. What was that experience like for you? I don't remember which one that was. I remember <laughs> we were in a crazy little tent. Anyways, dude, it was so fucking hot. I thought I was going to throw up. It was, it was miserable. <laughs> but it was, it was cool. Yeah. Download was the game. Huge one. Alright, this is Dorothy. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool, but it was, yeah. 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 It was, it was uncomfortable climb wise. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do remember it was, it was blazing hot. Yeah. Which is unusual for them because it usually rains. That's like their thing. Right. They call it drown load. <laughs> right. so. but that's kind of how it was here yesterday. Super hot. People we're just dying in the heat. We got a little wind today, so. It was cool seeing Ice T walk around. That was a download. That's cool. Yeah, saw Ice T. Yeah. First time. Yeah, Last Legend time I saw legendary. Him. Yeah. Legendary. He was a he was a body count then, right? Yeah. That's it. He was performing with body count. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Uh, and you guys' uh, self-titled album, the, the fifth full-length LP, recently was released. Um, so how how was writing and recording of the self-titled album versus uh, some of the past albums you guys have done? Um, we spent, we definitely spent more time writing it than we did sleeping through the horror. Actually, I feel like we spent more time writing it than like any of the records. Because um, normally we go in with like half of the songs written. This one we had seven out of the eight written. Um, and it was fun. It was like self produced, self engineered. Um, and like we just rented a cabin. And, Ate the same food, slept in the same place for six days. Oh, wow. it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that actually brings me to my next question. So, it, obviously, like you said, it was recorded in six days. Uh, you did that in a cabin in Tennessee. Um, do you think those things, which obviously contributed probably to the atmosphere, do you think that contributed to the success of that album? I don't know if it contributes to the success unless the success is linked to the performance. I don't know. And sure. I guess if we would have stayed out there longer, it would have been a different performance uh, had we not have done it that way. So I'm not sure. I can't really say. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Diamond. So uh, one of you guys' newer songs that just come out off the new album. Um, got a video for that, uh, which is one of my favorite songs. Kind of a atmospheric, kind of a dark, creepy song in a way. Um, so what was the inspiration behind that song? Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I need to think about that more. It was uh, just one of your, it was one of your, you just checking your bass sounds. Oh, right, yeah. And then I just started playing drums, and then everybody just started playing. Cool. Yeah, that's how a lot, we get a lot of our stuff yeah. at Soundcheck. Yeah. We're just goofing off. So just, just very organically, just kind of came out. Yeah, 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 we don't, we don't really awesome. have like a set process. We kind of try everything. Cool. 
Okay. And uh, so Parks, I think uh, I got a quote here from from you. Uh, says, uh, "I hope I uh, hope you'll never hear another predictable album from All Them Witches." Uh, so how do you keep things from being predictable, but also maintaining your your core style? Uh, you can't be afraid of change. Like we don't really turn down ideas, I guess. Um, yeah, so. we never really had maybe a few things that we developed songs. a song that yeah. we were like, no. but that's only happened a few times. Yeah, we usually just try to ride the ride the process until it works itself out, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, it gets lost in whatever ether is out there. Um, yeah, I, yeah, we just try to stay really open to change. Okay. Uh, and you guys have often been categorized as uh, so a few different things like psychedelic rock, 70s rock, uh, stoner rock. Um, but your sound, all, like I said, is always kind of evolving, breaking the molds of each new album. Uh, how would you how would you guys best classify your, your sound that's always kind of evolving, if you would classify it at all, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> Natural. Rock. Yeah. yeah. We're just, we're just rock band. Just rock, yeah. yeah. Okay. Natural rock music. Natural. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Every song sounds different. Like every song feels different. Playing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just the sound of the three of us. Play. Like, nothing's pre-planned. Or nothing's planned. Um, we don't sit down and be like, oh, we want to sound like this. You know, a lot of it's just from being eager to try new stuff. That works. <laughs> that works. And uh, you guys have some dates. Uh, looks like scheduled for next month, and then uh, heading off to Europe in April and May. Uh, do you find any major differences touring the U.S. versus in Europe? No. There's <laughs> other than things, customs. Things happen the same. They're just yeah. in different amounts in different places. Yeah, I don't know. Customs isn't even really that big of a deal. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> People just want to hear music wherever you go. So, uh, it's just exciting because we're in a place that we don't call home, but we can find our ways around and enjoy it. So maybe that makes me think it's more fun over there. Yeah. What, that you don't know where you're going? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm in a, a, a new place. Yeah, it's interesting to see. I mean, obviously, it's like interesting to see the other, yeah. how everybody else lives. Sure. Uh, so I'm really happy. Get, get to kind of explore and see the, the culture and stuff. Yeah, yeah, at least within like a couple of blocks of where you're playing. Yeah, uh, definitely. So, yeah, yeah, we really like it over there. And I don't, I don't really feel a difference with the people. I think we're all just happy yeah. to go see music. Yeah. M- music fans are music yeah. fans universally, yeah. And right. enthusiasm is the same as enthusiasm. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> you would agree? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's that's pretty much it for me, guys. Um, you know, thanks again for taking the time. Um, how how can people find you guys? Uh, check out your music. Or what's the best, best way to check you guys out? Just type our name in Google, <laughs> and they follow like the first ten links. Yeah, that's it. And you guys got some great music videos, so they should check out YouTube for sure. Rob, you yeah. made them all. Awesome. Not all of them. Some of them. <laughs> yeah. I made Only the good ones, right? <laughs> no, there's some other good ones, too. Awesome. <laughs> uh, um, System of a Down, definitely. Alice in Chains. Um, you know, stuff I kind of grew up on, so yeah, it should be awesome. That's good. I, I thought I was never going to listen to System of a Down. Yeah. I, I saw them a long time ago, probably 2000. Two or three, so it's it's been a long time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, any, anything else you guys want to add or? No. All right. Well, again, appreciate you taking the time and uh, Thanks, take it easy. Thanks, guys. Yeah.